New view later. Nine thousand. Well, Rudolph, things sure are different with the new principal in charge. Yeah. You can say that again. I kind of wish they didn't put me in special ed, but at least that means we're in the same class. Whoa. What? Hermie? Hermie. Yeah. Are you okay? Who is that elf over there? She's so hot. Oh, that's Candy Smalls. I wouldn't talk to her if I were you. But why not? We both appear to be Christmas elves, and it would be nice to have somebody I can relate to with here. But what about me? We're both misfits. I know, but I mean a girl. Well, if you get me to don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm willing to take my chances. And then I was like, hell no, I'm Jewish. And then I burned down the nativity scene. Um, excuse me, miss. What do you want? Um, my name is Ermie. I noticed you're a Christmas elf, just like me. Dude, you're not even a real elf. Also, I really hate men. So get away from me, you little shit. Hey, that's not very nice. And watch your language. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'll prove it to you, hussy. Oh, help. This guy totally just assaulted me. Whoa. And that is why Hillary Clinton would have made a better president than Donald Trump. Any questions? What does this have to do with this coming from Sodor? Yeah, I thought we were British. Hermie the Elf, get your ass to my office right now. Well, Rudolph, if you don't hear from me, you know why. Hermie, wait. The principal is waiting for you. What in Santa's name are you supposed to be? What happened to Hiruhi Suzumiya? I'm more an eagle. No way you're an eagle. You look more like a worm. How dare you disrespect my pronouns? I'm telling evil shit on you, so now you'll be in even bigger trouble. Oh shit. There he is, evil judge. That's the guy who physically and sexually assaulted me. What? I've done neither of those things. Oh yes he did. I saw him do it with my own eyes. Yeah. Me too. They're lying. Don't listen to them. You're the liar, you little motherfucker. Cool it, Goldie. Enough. There's only one way to settle this matter, and that's in the courtroom. Order. I'm Evil Judge, who really can't decide. Today we will try Hermie the Fake Elf to decide whether or not he is guilty of assaulting Candy Smalls. Candy, you're up first. You may want to use the invisible step stool. So Candy, tell us exactly what happened. Well, I was minding my business when this jackass came up from behind and smacked my ass. Then he said, hey bitch, I'm going to fuck you. Then he proceeded to flip my tray and spill my food all over me and grubbed me. Objection. Everything she just stated is a blatant lie. Objection overruled. Any further statements from the victim? Oh, yeah. He's a sexist, misogynistic shithead who constantly harasses women and then lies about it. Thank you, Candy. That will be all. You may go back to your seat. Will the next witness come forward? I witnessed him assaulting my friend, and it was extremely traumatizing for me. I was raped by a man and got pregnant because of it, so I know the dangers of not believing women. 
This little motherfucker beat up my friend harder than the time I whooped Rudolph Jr.'s ass. He misgendered me and dwarf instead of end eagle. Everyone knows I identify as end eagle. He's a racist bigot and a bad friend. Cool story, bro. But <laughs> are you validating me? Whose side are you on anyway, old judge? Wait, I'm sorry. Of course you're an eagle, Warren. All I meant was, do you wish to press further charges against her me? Yes, and I also believe Candy Smalls. Where were you when the incident occurred? Well, originally I was sitting across from Hermie at one of the lunch tables in the cafeteria when he suddenly noticed Candy for the first time. And I have to be honest with you. From what I've seen and heard, Candy Smalls comes off as toxic, prejudiced, and, dare I say, highly manipulative. I warned Hermie to stay away from her. He can do far better anyway. But he didn't listen. I see. And what happened next? Um, to be honest, I didn't see what happened next. I had my back turned, until I heard the commotion of the tray flipping and saw the mess for myself. But I've known Hermie for a long time, and I know he would never do anything like that. Especially to a girl. I wasn't there to witness the event either. But I did notice that May came into class early, and he looked suspicious the entire lesson. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. I was on lunch monitor duty with my boyfriend Moby when we heard a crash, followed by a girl crying for help. We noticed Hermie fleeing from the scene. Very suspicious if you ask me. When we came to help Candy, she told us he had assaulted her and flipped her lunch tray. And I believe every word she said, because we should believe all women. He's a cis white male with a tiny dick. Of course the evidence points to him. I now summon the defendant. Hermie, come to the stand. Well, hurry up. We don't have all day. Hermie the fake elf, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? That's the one thing I intend to do. Now if you please, let me tell you what really happened. All right, but you only get one chance. Your Honor, all I wanted to do was talk to Candy, because I thought she was cute and I thought we might have some things in common, obviously us both being Christmas elves. In hindsight, I don't know what I saw in her. Come to think of it, she looks more like Patrick Starr and Snooky's love child getting devoured by a tarantula. Objection! Now he's just using this chance to talk shit about me. Objection sustained. The defendant will refrain from making any more insulting remarks about the victim. Remember, this is your last chance to make an appeal. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Good. Now let's hear the rest of your testimony before I lose any more patience. As I was saying, I only wanted to talk to her. But as soon as I did, she started throwing insults and profanity at me. And then... She flipped her own lunch tray to make it look like I had assaulted her. But really, she is just a liar. And so are her so-called friends who say they witnessed the event. I'm telling you, I've done nothing wrong. I'm innocent. Did you hear that? You hear the way he just said that? Liar. What? No, I. Jury, final verdict. Now, we find the defendant guilty. 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 His ass is so fucking guilty. 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 Not guilty. No one asked for your opinion, Rudolph. I hereby sentence Hermie to 4,000 years and go rapper prison. 4,000 years. Guards. 
Take him away. What happened to Kite Boy and Dumpy? First off, let me make a correction that it's actually pronounced Key Boy, so let's try to fix that mistake going forward, shall we? My sincerest apologies to Key Boy. Second, did you really think I'd forget about those guys? After the two of them bothered to react to my video? That was just the prologue. Part Zero. Now that this case is out of the way, I can tie in the events you just witnessed to the main plot. But that will have to wait until the trilogy comes out.